Hello everyone, my name is Maz, and welcome back to Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. So here we are on the final day of Hollow Week. I'm gonna try to get to where I left off like five years ago. Okay, well five years ago might be a bit of an exaggeration. I think it's only been like three, but still, three years ago. But yeah, with this game, it is the grand finale of posting daily for eight days, which was so difficult to do. But I had, no way, man, no freaking way, but I had so much fun doing it. And even though it was a huge pain in the butt to do, if you guys really enjoyed it and would like to see me do this again, hey, Christmas is coming up and I could do like 12 days of Christmas and count down to that daily. But it's, that's a very maybe. I don't even want to think about <laughs> this much work ever again. Oh, phone call. Hello? Hello? Directly into the fan? I, I don't know what it wants Hi. me to do, so I'm just gonna... Hi? Hello? Is there text? What do you mean, look directly hello. into the fan? Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Oh, do I have to sit? Uh. Alright, I'm gonna leave. I wonder if there was something that was gonna happen if I uh, stayed back there long enough, but there's another note. This place is finally starting to affect me. I've seen enough horror movies to know how to survive a simple ghost or two, but these monsters are getting faster and stranger. What? What the fuck? I got a phone call. What happened? My soul wanders in endless maze? Why? Did that phone call just make me have to restart? Okay, well, I'm... I lost eight levels. That's tragic. This place is finally starting to affect me. I've said... Wait, I thought he died. Wasn't he dead on the ground here last episode? Oh, since it's Halloween, I thought I'd show you my costume. Ready? Are you ready for this? Boom. You see, you guys might be thinking, oh, a, a jersey? That, that's not that scary, but believe me. This jersey has been keeping me up at night for the past couple of weeks. I think in my first playthrough, I made it to room 300. So we are going to just zoom through this, and we're going to make it to level 500. And that'll be the halfway mark of this game, I think. Because earlier, the chick said that it's a thousand, right? I could be wrong. I usually am. Lots of goop on the floor. A whole lot of gaba goo. And I don't know- Fuck you. <laughs> In order to survive this house, I need to keep writing notes. I must do everything a central protagonist would and hope this is one of those stories. Insert obscure horror reference that no one gets and will misinterpret as instructions somehow. Damn. So I gotta start writing notes. Right? Those were clearly instructions for me to start writing notes. Because I am the protagonist. Out of all the protagonists, I am the proist. No amateur protagonist here. I'm the pro protagonist. Whoa. Whoa. Fucking god. Jesus. Why? Why? You know what? It's because of a spider. I hate spiders. See? I don't mind ghosts. I hate spiders, dude. Spiders are gross. They got too many legs. Why do you need that many legs, honestly? Like, you could have... You could have went on with four, right? Like, eight? That's just being greedy. Why is this broken? Subject five is growing more and more restless. I told Spook we need more funds for sedatives. But she just laughed and flew into the ceiling. Without more chemicals to keep these things... Doctile? I'm not sure how much longer we can keep them here safely. Generic lab assistant. No, not generic lab assistant. That's my boy. I believe subject 5 is loose. The glass around its container is shattered, and I can faintly hear clicking coming from the ceiling. I don't know what will happen now. If it is out and alive, this is probably my last report. The clicking is getting louder now. If I put down this note, and I hear clicking, and there's a big insect in front of my face, I'm ending the video. There's a hole in the ceiling. Alright. Oh shit. That's- Oh, it's locked! Oh god, I'm out of sprint. Oh god. Thank god I refreshed my sprint when I went through the door. God, you're an ugly one. Why are you so ugly? If my entire existence was to scare people, I'd be that ugly too. I didn't even read that. I think the effectiveness of the specimen is 
also somehow related to the souls of the people they kill. Somehow. Anyway, I'm still alive and strong, but I feel like the inmost cave of my journey lies ahead. I wonder what the antagonists will look like. I hope they're cute. Right? Like that one from Resident Evil? Talk about a cute antagonist, you know what I'm saying? I just realized that I never had a mentor figure. Trial. Or leaving home scene. That means this story isn't following the archetype to make me a traditional hero. Which means I can be killed off. Well, it was nice for a little while, at least. But I never had, like, a, a mentor or, like, a like a home story or anything like that. Am I an NPC? <laughs> I don't like those. I don't like little dollies. Uh, I don't like little like uh, figures like that with no eyes and like I imagine it's small. I don't like small things like dolls or like bears or things like that. Like that's why I was so determined that like in what was it Among the Sleep that the little teddy bear was the was the bad guy. I was convinced because I hate bears. Bears in horror games, evil. Dolls in horror games, even more evil. Day two, food supply depleted, water supply at 30%, mental health deteriorating, leaving notes behind to help others and mark where I've been. Is that, so this is a different guy from the first guy that died. Cause the first guy was all like romantic and stuff. He had a cool hat and he died. We saw his body. This is a scientist, I presume. Oh damn, we're at a school now. Or a, no, it's gotta be a school, right? Yeah, lockers like that. When did I get a flashlight? Should I be checking these doors? Do I want to be? What the fuck is that? What is that? What are these? Am I seeing ghosts of students? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. No thank you. I'm gonna just run through. My little heart can't take that. No! It's the doll! It's a thing with no eyes! Where are your eyes? Here, smile for a thumbnail, please. Thank you. Oh god, I said that's not a smile, woman. Wait, in the beginning, did I say I was gonna go to 300 or 500? Because I think, now that I think about it, I think I said 500 back then, and that was a stupid thing to say. Because no way am I gonna be able to do that within like a reasonable time limit. Like, it's already been like half an hour, and I made it through 80 rooms, so I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. But I will get to 300. That I, I, I promise. Alright, guess. Left, middle, or right? You got it wrong. You gotta subscribe now. A hundred down, a hundred left to go. While this safe elevator goes, I'm gonna go get a drink. Why not? Get myself a nice little LaCroix. <laughs> Disgusting. Alright, we are in the uh, cottage cheese realm. The most coveted of all realms. They say a single bite from these walls can feed an entire ant colony for 12 generations. Oh, and feed that guy for zero, because he'd rather eat my ass. Ah, you bastard. Oh, oh, I thought I was in a padded room for a second. I was like, I'm not that insane, am I? Holy shit. What is this? Whoa, what is that? Oh, no, oh, 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 good heavens. <laughs> Jesus Christ, where did he come from? I hate the design here why what is this Th oh my god why would it do that that's hurting my little eyes my tiny little brain can comprehend all those textures at once god this is terrible I hate this it's so disorienting bro like it's bad enough that a ghost busted a nut on my sunglasses and I can't see and now the textures on the floor are changing at a mile a minute I just want to be able to see what is this what even is happening? Thank God I'm not being chased. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Why did I say that? I just... Oh, you bastard! Oh, that hit me hard. Oh my God. He took half my health with one bop. Of course, the second I said, thank God I'm not being chased, I started being chased. Oh, and another note. Oh. It's nothing. <laughs> it's a napkin. Maybe I was supposed to write something. Oh, I didn't even test that. What if that was possible? Well, spooky. I did. Thought so. I'm pretty great. Nope. What? Why did the? That was very abrupt. 
I wonder what the gift is. Password is pumpkin. Don't you forget it. I swear to God, if you forget that the password is pumpkin, and I ask you later, and you don't tell me, oh, we're fighting. We are fighting. Okay. Okay, what's in the box? What could it be? Place your bets. Oh. Look behind you. I thought I was gonna get like a, I don't know, lever action shotgun. Another note. Maybe I'll start leaving my own notes. Dear humble adventurer, if you're reading this, you're fucked. Alright. Words of wisdom. I like to keep a positive attitude, and I feel like they'll they'll understand the sarcasm. Ah oh, shit. Oh god, frickin' damn it, dude. How dare you? Bang! Level level? Room 300. And there's no note. Damn. I guess all our friends really did die off. But yeah, on the note of hitting the room 300, I'm going to have to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoyed all of Hollow Week. It was a lot of fun to do, and the support has been great on all of the videos, and I really appreciate all of that. Happy Halloween to everyone. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Like the video if you leave... What? I was doing an outro, man. Come on. I was in a safe room. Anyways. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, then you know, leave a like, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.